Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthems of the Republic of the Philippines and the United States of America.
Mr. President, Mrs. Marcos, it gives me special pleasure to welcome you to the United States. Mrs. Reagan and I have been long looking forward to returning the hospitality you showed us on our 1969 visit to your country. Our two peoples enjoy a close friendship, one forged in shared history and common ideals. In World War II, Americans and Filipinos fought side by side in the defense of freedom, a struggle in which you, Mr. President, personally fought so valiantly. The values for which we struggled, independence, liberty, democracy, justice, equality, are engraved in our constitutions and embodied in our people's aspirations. Today, our ties remain strong, benefiting each of us over the full range of our relations. Politically, we tend to view many world issues the same general way. Yours, Mr. President, is a respected voice for reason and moderation in international forums. The Philippines, with its ASEAN partners, has taken the lead in search for self-determination for the people of Kampuchea. In that vein, let me also pay tribute to you and Mrs. Marcos' personal leadership and commitment to the care of refugees in Southeast Asia. Under your direct sponsorship, the Philippines Refugee Processing Center has become a model of its kind in encouraging the development of self-sufficiency and the restoration of human dignity. The Philippines and you, Mr. President, play an important role in addressing the problems of economic development in the world. At Cancun, we made a new start toward a more effective and practical dialogue and improved cooperation among industrial and developing countries. Your leadership in that area, Mr. President, is vital and widely respected. Under your leadership at home, the Philippines can boast a record of solid economic growth over the past decade, attributable in significant part to its hospitable attitude toward free enterprise and private initiative. Your country's dedication to improving the standard of living of your people is an effort in which we've been delighted to participate through bilateral and multilateral economic assistance. Your continuing interest in better nutrition has led the Philippines to achieve self-sufficiency in food grain production. You can also point with pride to the success of your rural electrification program, now bringing benefits to an increasing number of remote regions. And I find it a matter of personal satisfaction that your country and my home state of California are both pioneers in developing geothermal power to replace expensive energy imports. The United States remains the Philippines' leading trading partner, and American firms are the largest foreign investors in your country reflecting their confidence in your progress and prospects for economic growth. We have welcomed the growing two-way trade between our nations and have been pleased that we've been able to keep our markets for the products of your growing manufacturing and industrial sector the most open of any country in the industrialized world. America considers itself especially fortunate to have nearly one million persons of Filipino heritage now residing in our country. They bring with them their energy and their talents, and they contribute enormously to the rich diversity of American society. Similarly, thousands of Americans, enchanted by the beauty of your nation and by its people, have chosen to live in the Philippines. Our security relationship is an essential element in maintaining peace in the region and is so recognized. This relationship, one of several we have in the Western Pacific, threatens no one but contributes to the shield behind which the whole region can develop socially and economically. Mr. President, under your leadership, the Philippines stands as a recognized force for peace and security in Southeast Asia through its bilateral efforts and through its role in ASEAN, which is the focus of our regional policies in Southeast Asia. Mr. President, and Mrs. Marcos, the United States deeply values its close friendship and alliance with the Philippines. We seek to use this visit to further strengthen our ties with your country. Nancy and I are personally delighted that you are here, and we say welcome to the United States, welcome to our national home.
Well, thank you very much, President Reagan.